Hey everybody, Mike here, and today we're going to take a super quick look at the rarest mineral on Earth. Now, as you know, I love talking about minerals. These amazing substances are what makes up the crust of the Earth, and they come in all different colors and shapes and characteristics. There are about 5,500 of them on record, though we are occasionally discovering brand new ones that have never been seen before. And that's what we're going to dig into today. But before we do that, let's just uh, set some level here and make sure we know what we're talking about. Uh, minerals are inorganic, naturally occurring elements or compounds. Um, inorganic meaning basically not made of carbon, and naturally occurring meaning not made in a lab by human beings. All of these minerals are going to have a unique arrangement or, or structure of atoms within and a unique chemical composition. As a result of that, they all have their own particular physical characteristics, which may range from color to cleavage and fracture, streak, luster, hardness, etc. Now, we see minerals every day on Earth, from common things like olivine and feldspars to calcites and the most common uh, mineral on Earth, quartz. But we discovered about 10 years ago a mineral of which we only have one single crystal. And that mineral is known as keothwait. And you can see it here. This crystal, this photograph you're looking at, this beautiful reddish-orange crystal, is the only known sample of this mineral. It was discovered back in 2015 in the Mogok region of Myanmar in Southeast Asia, where it was found in the outwash of a river. This region is known for finding some incredible, unique, and rare mineral and gem samples, and of course, they delivered again with this new mineral. The sample itself was named for a Burmese mineralogist named Dr. Kyo Thu. And if you look at its characteristics, they're kind of interesting. It gives a white streak. Remember, this is just one sample of it, which you can see the dimensions there. It's a tiny little sample. The sample itself has a weight of just over 1.6 carats. If you tested its hardness, it would scratch glass. It is slightly harder than glass with a hardness of 5.5. And interestingly, you see how dense it is with a, a density of over 8 grams per cubic centimeter. Now, that's very dense, um, which contributes to just how small it is for its weight for this particular sample. And again, this is the only one on record, and we do not have a lot of photos or videos of this. So if you go searching for it online, you're not going to find much information. It is currently on display at the Natural History Museum of Los Angeles County. Um, they have been studying it there, and it is in their collection. And that's where you would have to go to check it out. So I hope you found this interesting. Uh, definitely check back for more geology content in the future. Thanks for watching.